last few minutes with Pastor Carl Gallops, author of the book Be Thou Prepared, talking about equipping the church for persecution, uh, times of trouble. You know, Pastor, something you were saying early on, because I want to move away from some of the uh, cultural persecution and legal persecution we're experiencing in this country and and move a little bit to some of the more serious physical uh, persecution Christians around the world are facing. Earlier you said that the persecution of Christians right now is actually worse than it was in the early church. And I know some people are probably raising their eyebrow going, well, wait a minute here. Are you talking about those first few centuries before Constantine? Wasn't that the worst time in history for Christians? And, and, and are you saying that it's actually worse right now for Christians than it was even in those first three centuries? Yes, and it's not me that's saying it. I'm simply documenting it from world-renowned, world-respected resources, not only Christian resources, but major media resources. Uh, and again, it, they're all documented in my book, so uh, people can check all, all of the documentation out. But the last 100 years, by far, has been worse in the t- sheer number of Christians who have been imprisoned, executed, murdered, bu- brutalized, etc. Uh, the last 100 years of history, more Christian persecution than in the last in the 1900 that preceded it from the time of Christ, total combined. So there are some. I- the estimates go anywhere from 30 to 100,000 Christians who lose their lives every year around the world simply because they are Christians. Mm-hmm. Now you say, well, why the disparity between 30,000 and 100,000? That's a lot of that's a lot of disparity. Well, because because it depends upon how one looks at this. In other words, there are civil wars erupting in in various African nations, and for example, where Christians are slaughtered wholesale. And sometimes it's not necessarily simply because they're Christians, but it's because of the takeover of territory and Christians happen to be holding it. So it just kind of depends. It varies from year to year. But these last couple of years have been horrendous because of ISIS, where there has been an actual target targeting of Christians and Christian communities, entire Christian communities. And we've got between 30 and 40, 50,000 children orphaned in the Middle East right now because their parents have been butchered before them, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of Christians who are fleeing, still fleeing for their lives and trying to migrate to other countries. And, and you know, over a million people displaced in the Middle East because of ISIS. And that's just happened in the last year or two. So, yeah. so yes, yes. I and mean, isn't, it's horrendous. Isn't it interesting, Pat? Pastor, as well, that uh, you don't see Muslims or Hindus or Buddhists or Confucianists or others slatter, uh, slaughtered uh, by large numbers because of their faith as a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist. But you do see this en masse with uh, with Christians. And, I mean, it is consistent with what Jesus said. But, you know, I've said many times that... If you're an atheist, or if you're even somebody of a different religion, you got to be asking yourself, boy, what is it about Christianity that you can be pretty much any other religion, and you're protected by political correctness in civilized cultures, and by and large, you're not slaughtered for being that religion, uh, but for Christians, you're... now that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. I mean, Yazidis are being killed by ISIS. There are people of other religions that are killed but nowhere close to the numbers of Christians are killed for no reason other than declaring a faith in Jesus Christ. We've got about 60 seconds left. I'll give you the last word. Well, if I've only got 60 seconds, all I can say is, yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you are, and I speak of that in my book as well. And uh, so, so, But anyway, listen, thanks for having me on today, Bob. God bless you. What, what a wonderful opportunity this no, has been. I, I appreciate you being with us, and I just encourage everybody to look for the book. Again, it's entitled Be Thou Prepared. It's WND Books. It's by Carl Gallops. And by the way, Pastor, what's the best way for people to get the book? Uh, Amazon, they can order it and get it in just a few days, uh, but they can find out everything about me, my ministry, all my books and materials at carlgallops.com, carlgallops.com. All right, and it's Carl with a C, everybody. Pastor, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for being with us. Bob, it's my honor. Thank you. Thanks, God bless sir. you. Take care, you too. You're listening to The Bob Duco Show.